Congratulations, Arnold. You just volunteered for the bulletproof skin test. Wow. You still alive, Superman? So, a successful test. Hey, Arnie, these guys seem pretty happy with the outcome, but they want to up the ante. A grenade launcher fires a grenade from its barrel at a speed of 120 meters per second, and it can pierce 50 centimeters of steel armor. Now we need something more serious. For example, skin made from fullerene. This is the strongest material known to science, an allotrope of carbon, and it's 200 times stronger than the strongest steel. Congratulations, Arnie. Your fullerene skin can withstand a rocket-propelled grenade, which, of course, cannot be said about your brain. The shockwave has turned it into jiggly jelly. But luckily, you're in a super-secret lab. That's right, Arnold. Perfect time to get away. After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled. And even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little whip, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. But the problem is, Arnold, now you have to hide for the rest of your life so that no one knows that you've got super skin. Wait, what? I see, Arnie. You'll do anything for likes. Well, each his own. Arnold, you're just a magnet for trouble. Hey, that looks really bad. You need immediate hospitalization. You're not going to make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball. Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile. Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But... To be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. So, what do you say? Let's try Pepsi next time. Get up, doofwad. Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy. Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Oh my God, Arnold, what did you do to yourself? I wasn't serious about the sniper. Huh? Congratulations, you have a chance to be the first person to get cloned. Get in the machine, Arnold. What could possibly go wrong? Now, let's do a little testing. Hmm, what's this? The cloning didn't work as I expected. Your brain is split in two with each of you having just one of the hemispheres. Blimey! The corpus callosum connects the hemispheres of the brain and consists of 200 to 250 million nerve fibers, each several centimeters long. If your grandma were to knit them into a thread, she could wrap it around the earth three times. That's amazing. Let's test your cognitive abilities. Well done, left-brained Arnold. Right Brain Arnold, what are you doing? Dap, dap. 
Yep. Ah, right. The left hemisphere is responsible for language. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controls the left. So if you remove the corpus callosum, as is done in severe cases of epilepsy, the person will initially confuse their left and right limbs. Let's get everything back to how it was. Get in the machine, Arnolds. Yes, one at a time. Don't push. We won't start without both of you anyway. Be Careful! It seems like Arnold is in trouble. Good morning, Arnold. I see that your day got off to a rocky start. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel sorry for you, Arnold. And I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, even ordinary tape will do. Oops, it looks like the effect of Dr. Joe's drug is over. Welcome back to normal life, Arnold. Did you actually lose your job as a pizza delivery guy? Now, just imagine if you had two heads, you'd be way more popular. Your life would be much more interesting. You'd be smarter, and you could finally learn how to ride a bike normally. Look, this is the same guy from the sign, the circus ringmaster. Oh my God, did that lion actually just swallow the whole two-headed dude? No, actually, it seems the heads are unharmed. But what's gonna happen now? Is the big show of the season canceled? Hey, it seems the manager has noticed you and wants you to be in the cast. But only if you agree to have these two good as new heads sewn onto your body. Isn't that what you've always dreamed of? Well, since you agree, I think you should find out more about the upcoming surgery. The first successful head transplantation was done by Charles Guthrie in 1908. He did it on dogs, though. One of the heads was sewn to the neck of a dog's body upside down. In the 1950s, Demikhov achieved full functioning of a second head. He transplanted 20 heads together with the front half of the dogs. Then the head of one dog was transplanted onto the body of another. And then there was a monkey, which after transplantation even tried to bite one of the doctors. In 2013, Sergio Canavero announced plans for a human head transplant. The estimated cost was $12.8 million. In 2017, under his leadership, a dead human head was transplanted onto a corpse. Actually, it suits you, Arnold. Now it's time to rehearse your part. I hope you don't screw up and disgrace these beautiful heads. You're gonna have to juggle as you ride your unicycle on a springboard through burning hoops. 
Yay! They don't seem to like you being so stupid, Arnie. Try not to interfere with the professionals managing your body. All that's required of you is to not spoil the performance. The grand premiere. All eyes are fixed on you, Arnold. Today, you are the main part of the show. Fingers crossed, buddy. You're doing great. Just a little more, and is that Tagaya over there? Did she come to see you? No, no, don't get distracted. Not now, Arnold. What a doofwad. By trying to be a gentleman, you disgraced yourself and the Truel brothers. That was the greatest failure this circus has ever seen. Hey. It looks like Elon Musk wants to find out if we can develop telepathic abilities in a human being. Don't worry, Arnold. They'll let you go if you answer correctly. So, guess what's in the picture? Wrong! And on this one. No! Get it together, man! Such experiments were carried out in the 1950s in the USA. Their goal was to develop paranormal abilities in soldiers in order to gain an advantage in the Cold War. The test subjects were given LSD, since LSD significantly increases the activity of neural connections. Arnold, pull yourself together already. Even a rat learns faster than that. Well, true, this ain't no ordinary rat. He has a chip in his brain. Scientists proved the possibility of transmitting nerve impulses from a distance back in 2013. The rats were in different cities, but they acted together, thanks to electrodes implanted in their brains and the internet. It looks like Elon Musk is going to try all the different ways to develop telepathy on you at the same time. Arnold, stop! You haven't mastered your new skills yet, buddy. Mind reading has many benefits. Now, people can't hide anything from you. But I have to warn you, you won't like everything they think about. The pros in a relationship, you can immediately know if your partner really loves you or not. You can understand the language of animals and you can find your perfect match. But what if all people could read each other's minds? An ideal world without lies or falsehood. Or maybe not. Hey, mister, don't be offended if he thought your nose is too pimply. Gosh darn it, this is a disaster. No, Arnie, stop. Don't even think about it. Decided to hang out in the park, did ya? Looks like this burrito was out of your league. Quick, find something to drink. Arnold, wait. God knows what might be in this magic shop. Well, since you successfully solved your Mexican food problem, let's go have some fun. Got it. You'll cross the road on red. Grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world. Learn any martial art. And even go explore and colonize new galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're gonna binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly. But you will lag behind in progress and you will feel superfluous in society. Everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold, okay, I'll leave you alone.
Oh, Arnold, you came back just in time. The sun is dying and turning into a supernova, and you got the best seat to see the death of our solar system. Say goodbye to planet Earth. I guess that burrito was a mistake.